And now for our feature presentation. Okay, everyone. Welcome back to Aubrey Scott's Arcade of Fun. We're going to try things with Jeopardy Deluxe Edition on the DOS. Let's see if we can win a bundle this game in cash and prizes, shall we? Let's play. Each correct response begins with that letter of the alphabet. U.S. history. We have Los Angeles, a city I've never been to but would like to go one day. TV trivia. All right. And our final category we're going to be dealing with is animal adjective. Okay. Here we go. Let's start things off with animal adjectives for 500. <laughs> Earth sign synonym for surly. What is berry? Or bear, yeah, berry. Will they take it? No. Oh, they will not take it. It's the other way. Ah, I figured it out. It's bear-ish. Bear-ish. You are correct. Right, but ish, not ish. Right. That's okay. We're just getting started. It's okay. U.S. history for 100. In 1963, 200,000 Washington marchers heard him say, I have a dream. Who is Martin Luther King Jr.? Okay. That's it. There we go. I'm going to go with Los Angeles for 500. Found it right out of the park. Let's go ahead and do the 500, because why not? Here's the clue in Los Angeles. Community where you go to see the tile and seashell-covered towers built by Simon Rodia. I'm going to say what is Beverly Hills. No. No, it's Watts. Watts. Ah. In the hole, minus 900, but it's early. All right, let's go animal adjectives for 100. When something smells suspicious, what is fishy? Correct. I'll go with um, 200, please. For animal adjectives. Something shabby as though gnawed by rodents. What is ratty? Right. We'll go with the animal activist for 300. What you might feel after spilling wine all over your hostess's lamb chops. What is sheepish? That's it. Stuff. 
stubborn. What is mulish? Out of the hole, yes, yeah. $100. I'm going to go with Los Angeles for 100 His official residence is the Getty House, a 1920s Tudor home with leaded glass windows. Who is uh, J. Paul Getty? No. Who is the... I'll just say who is the governor. I don't know. No. Yeah, that goes all my money. The mayor. Yes. It's the bar where everybody knows your name. What is Cheers? You are correct. TV Trivia 200. In the original Belgian comics, these blue creatures are Strumpfs. What are Smurfs? Or who are the Smurfs? You are correct. From 1980 to 1982, ABC's answer to Saturday Night Live was this series on the night before. What is, what was Friday Night Live? Right. Tied for the lead with Suzanne. The name of the sub which made the weekly voyage to the bottom of the sea. The sea view. Correct. From Latin for hunting, it's the flesh of a deer. What is venison? That's it. From the deep sea Broadcasting's VOA stands for This of America. What is the voice? That's it. it. Vanuatu, Vatican City, and these other two countries begin with V. What are Venezuela and Vietnam? You are correct. correct. So this would be 400. From old French to come, it's the location of a gathering such as an Olympic event. What's a venue? That's it. Start to be for 500. The foremost position in an army or fleet. What is a vanguard? You are correct. I'll finish TV trivia for 500. According to the show's title, what Owen Marshall's occupation was.
counselor at law. There's a counselor at law. Okay, I'll take um, Los Angeles for 200. <phone rings> F. Scott Fitzgerald said this section of L.A. can be understood only dimly and in flashes. What is Hollywood? That's it. Los Angeles Artie Beach Community designed in 1905 to be a recreation of its famous Italian counterpart. Venice. Correct. Alright, sporting countries for a hundred. This alpine country was the birthplace of bobsledding. What is Switzerland? You are correct. correct. Sporting countries two hundred. International yachting designation is KC. Country is Canada. Uh, sporting countries for 300, please. This country boasted more than 600 professional table tennis players in 1985. China. You are correct. China. This defunct country won the most world hockey championships. Czechoslovakia. No. no. The Soviet Union. This country has mounted the most challenges for the America's Cup. Occasion when Congress declared war against any country. Korean War. No. I'll say what's the Vietnam War. Or no, 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 no. Let's go World War Two. Right. Good, good. Los Angeles War. More than half the city's area is in this sprawling valley northwest of downtown. The San Fernando Valley. That's it. Enacted in 1913, the 16th Amendment was necessary to make us pay it. What's an income tax? Right. Four hundred. The only state carried by George McGovern in the nineteen seventy two election. I'm gonna try this one and I'm gonna say what is Massachusetts? Right. right. 
but I picked the right stage. That will have to do, and then we'll play Double Jeopardy. Known as Robin Hood of the Forest, he captured Fort Ticonderoga in 1775. Who's Ethan Allen? Oh, 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 no! Nope. I did not put in his last in. Oh, shoot. I hit enter too soon. I know it's Ethan Allen. I know for a fact it is. I just forgot the end. That's okay. Stupid mistake. But I'm in the lead with 2800, so Suzanne goes first in double jeopardy. Here we go. Categories are Mark Twain, Write Songs, notice the word write in quotation marks, each correct response will have that word, Presidents, Olympic Events, Europe, and finally we're going to deal with Patriotic Songs. All right. Let's begin. Patriotic songs for 200. Song that begins, Father and I went down to camp along with Captain Gooden. What is Yankee Doodle? Right. All right. Let me have, look over the categories real carefully. I will take Europe for a thousand. According to her father, Edith Piaf was born on the streets of this city under a gaslight. Paris. Right. right. Pedro Song's 400. Hymn that begins from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. What is the Marine hymn? Right. right. I'm going to go with uh, Mark Twain for 1,000. According to Mark Twain, the only animal that blushes or needs to, what is man? Right. All right, we'll go with the uh, Olympic events for a thousand. While Mia Tyus won unprecedented back to back victories in this event. The heptathlon? No. That is incorrect. The hundred yard dash. That's it. All right, Robert. President's 200. The only president who fought in the French and Indian War. I will say who is George Washington. When he died in 1924, he became our only president buried in Washington, D.C. Who is Woodrow Wilson? That's him. So, uh, take care of the for a thousand. Irving Berlin's song about soldiers going to Europe during World War I. What is over there? Correct. Uh, right song for one thousand. Yeah. 
$6,600 is what I have. How much am I going to put at risk? Um, let's go with, let's go with 4,001, or 4,001. $4,001 it is, okay. Here's the clue in write songs. In South Pacific, how Nellie Forbush said she'd wash that man. What is the right way? No. No, right out of my hair. Right out of my hair. So it cost me some money. I'm in second place, but we could get it back. Uh, let's go write songs for 800, please. Nocturnally speaking, this 1977 song was Jennifer Warren's first top 10 hit. All right tonight. No. Is it the right night? Right time of the night. All right. Uh, let's go right song 600. This song from Can Can Begins, it's the wrong time and the wrong place. The right thing. No. It's all right with me. Uh, write songs 400. According to this 1933 Carly Simon song, Loving You is this. What is the right thing to do? That's it. Okay. Now I'm back in the lead where I belong, or I was in the lead. All right. Write songs 200. The Rooftop Singer's 1963 number one hit said to do this before you sit right down. What is walk right in? That's it. Okay, we're at $31.99. Let's see where I'm going to go now. Um, let's go to Europe for 800 95% of Hungary's people are descended from these invaders who conquered in the late 800s. Who are the Magyars? Correct. Uh, we'll go with, um, let me look up at the categories again. Let's go Mark Twain for, that, for 800. It appeared in the skies the year he was born and the year he died. What is Halley's Comet? Right. right. Okay. Let's go. Uh, Olympic events 800, please. This Olympic won Trent Dimas, 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 an Olympic gold medal. I don't know how you say his last name, but we'll look it up later. The shot put? No. That is incorrect. Look for the high bar. High bar. All right. We'll go patriotic songs for 800. Four thousand seven ninety nine and a half. All in. Okay, the clue in patriotic songs. In the George M. Cohen song, it's the emblem of the land I love. What is, you're a grand old flag. What is the grand old flag? That's it. 9,500, whoa, $98, oop. Hang on a second there, folks, there we go. Uh, you're up for 200. One of three official names is the Italian Zvezera. Zvezera. 
One of its three official names is the Italian Vizera. Switzerland. Switzerland. Ah. Europe for 400. Because of its many churches, this Czech capital has been called the city of a hundred spires. What is Prague? Right. right. Okay. We'll go Europe 600. Smaller in area than Cleveland, this German-speaking Alpine land was neutral during World War II. What is Switzerland? No. Oh, no, it's, it's the other one. Oh, barf. I just figured it out. Liechtenstein. Right. Liechtenstein. That's okay. I knew I was incorrect when I responded on that clue, but it's okay. Mark Twain, 200. His celebrated jumper from Calaveras County was one of these. What's a frog? You are correct. We'll go, um, Mark Twain for 400. The full name Twain's mother gave him. What was Samuel Langhorn Clemens? Yes. We're going to go with uh, Mark Twain for 600. Huck Finn swore he'd never betray this runaway slave. Who is Jim? Correct. I finally get the five figures of the same dollars and all the cash. We'll go with um, Olympic events 200. Bonnie Blair won two gold medals for this sport. Speed skating. Right. right. Man, a few words. He had two nicknames. One was Red, and the other wasn't. Who's Calvin Coolidge? You are correct. All right. We'll go with uh, Presidents for Six. The Berlin Wall was erected during his administration. Who is John F. Kennedy? You are correct. Right. And presidents for, for 800. Extensive repairs were needed on the White House in 1902, so his family moved to Jackson Place. Calvin Coolidge? No. No. That is wrong. Theodore Roosevelt, and that was my guess. Correct. Well, unfortunately, she can. No, I think she still has a chance to come back and for Final Jeopardy. She's got to get the last three clues right. Olympic was 400. This racket sport debuted at the Barcelona Olympics as a full medal competition. Say what is tennis? No. Not tennis. Badminton. Right. right. Unfortunately, for Suzanne, it does not look like she's going to be advancing to final jeopardy. So she may as well just play for pride. K.L. Bates wrote, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, after a visit to this Colorado peak. What is Pike's Peak? Right. 
That's it. I'm lost for it. Does the Olympic event pitted Japan's Midori Ito against Christy Yamaguchi of the U.S.? Figure skating. Correct. Again, a double jeopardy on the lead with 11,798. Robert has 3,400. Suzanne, you can't play Final Jeopardy because you have negative $1,400. Well, let's go ahead and play Final Jeopardy. Here is today's Final, Final Jeopardy, Jeopardy category. category. Change the name. So I put Robert at $7,600. So I'm going to go with $4,000 only. Still win regardless. The Los Angeles Lakers legally changed the spelling of his first name. This Los Angeles Laker legally changed the spelling of his first name. I'll just say who is Shaquille O'Neal. But I don't know. Michael Thompson, so I'm wrong. So I end up with $7,798, but it doesn't matter. It's still enough to win. And I will see you all for the next game coming soon. Jeopardy Deluxe Edition with a one-game total of $7,798.